I'm Taryn Brooks in Hollywood for CelebBuzz.com, and joining me here is television personality hmm. and host of his brand new show on E, Ross Matthews. Hi, Ross. Hi. I'm super excited about your show. I'm like over the moon freaking out excited. It's the dream, the lifelong dream. I mean, can I just say it's about time, too? <laughs> I mean, Thank I feel like you. I've been watching you for so many years, and yeah. this guy needs his own show. You know, Stat. I've been trying to get my own show, and, and it really, it, it takes time to develop yeah. the point of view and that relationship with the audience, and I didn't want to do it until like the audience kind of knew what it meant when they heard Ross Matthews was getting a show. I remember when Rosie O'Donnell got a show, remember her talk show? Yeah, and I, I was thinking, loved her show. Right, and when it was announced, I remember thinking, oh, I totally can see what that show's gonna be. Right. So I wanted that, the audience and I to have that relationship, and, and we they, do now. Right, yeah. completely do. It's called Hello Ross, yeah. and it premieres this Friday on mm -hmm. E. Right and, after Fashion Please. Right after Fashion, which I love as well. Mm -hmm. What can the fans expect from well, the, the show? The fans can expect to be my co-host. You know, the fans in the audience are my co-hosts. We're kind of built in the round, and when we're talking about topics, I want to know what you think and I'll be there with the mic right and then when I have a celebrity there it's the same thing if you have a question to ask you can ask that celebrity and we're going to be video chatting people in from all over the country as well so get ready to work I love it yeah everybody <laughs> nobody's slacking off here it's very fan interactive it is what you were saying you have like a step and repeat for the fans yes we How have cute. this we have this thing for I want the audience to feel very special when they come so in the audience line as they come in there's this like red carpet where they can take their picture we call it paparazzi <laughs> so then you know we're, we'll show those going to commercial and stuff. I love well, well, you've been in the business for a long time. You've interviewed tons of people. Is there anybody that you haven't interviewed yet that you would just absolutely die love to? Well, what happens is like, you know, there's constantly be people being added to the world of pop culture that I've become right. obsessed with. And, and in the past few years, I mean, Lady Gaga. I've never met Lady Gaga. Adele. Right. Never met Adele. I would love to sit down with these people and sort of really pick their brains. You right. Know? Mm -hmm. Well, now you have a platform to do that. I know. Can so you Lady imagine? Gaga Adele. <laughs> We're not booking Lady Gaga yet. <laughs> soon. Maybe season two. Soon, completely soon. Yes. Who, what's been your favorite interview so far? Of my you, life? Yeah. You know. It's a hard question, but. I, I write in my book, well, my book, Man Up, is out, a bestseller, whatever. And <laughs> the, it's, the foreword is written by Gwyneth Paltrow. And the reason it's written by her is because there's a, a chapter in there about how we became best friends. And it's so ludicrous that I thought no one would believe it. Right. And so she wrote the, for, the forward to like sort of put her valid, stamp of validation on it. But I met her on a red carpet and I loved her so much. I asked her to be my best friend and she said yes. And like that doesn't really happen usually ever, but no. it did. Typically that does not happen no. on a red carpet. No. It's like the most amazing Who's story. Who's crazier, me for asking or her for saying yes? <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like you're a good pairing. Yeah, you think you so? You and Gwyneth, completely. So. Well, speaking yeah. of your book, do you have any more plans? to write any more books in the future? Oh, I just had a phone call with the editor because, oh my God, are you kidding me? I want to, but yes. it's like, ugh. and they're totally <laughs> into it. So I think we're gonna do it. I want, I really want to. Amazing. I'm so proud of the book, Man Up. It's about growing up in a farm town and always wanting to be a part of pop culture and then what happens when I got plopped into the middle of it, you know, and staying <laughs> true to myself. And so the second book, I'm not sure, but it's kind of what happens next. What happens when you reach the dream. Right, yeah. exactly, when you attain the goal. Yeah. Well, congratulations on everything. Thank you. I'm so excited to watch your show. I promise. I promise it's going to be good. I promise it's going to be great. Make sure you watch it. I know you're going to say, Friday at 10 after Fashion Police. You are my co-host, so you have to show up. Yeah, exactly. Well, you just did my clothes for me. Sorry. See, there you go. Watch <laughs> his show. It's going to be amazing. Thank you again, Roz, for joining us. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Check out his show.